Good evening, everybody. It's a night of magic with the Gary Literacy Coalition. I'm Chelsea Whittington, joined by our illustrious Executive Director, Lori Kirkendall. I had to grab you before you got too busy in this full house at the Chateau. It's your annual fundraiser. It's November, so we all know what that is, raising dollars for literacy. How are you feeling tonight, and what are your expectations? I am feeling really good. I'm excited about the night. I'm excited. So many people are out here to support the Gary Literacy Coalition in such a very much needed, powerful, uh, I can't even explain how important literacy is, and I'm just wonderful to have so many people out here to support our mission and what we're trying to do in our community. Well, you know what? It's la I'm laughing because they're making announcements. It's so crowded here, so people are double parking and, and, and illegally parking to get inside. And in true fashion, you still have books out tonight from which people can choose. What was your thinking and uh, what you put out for tonight? Well, tonight is kind of like, I know that everyone in here in the room feels the mission and follows the mission. So now I'm kind of, I don't want to say deputizing everyone in this room to go out this evening when they leave the program and find somebody who may not have a book, who may need encouragement with reading and take it to them. So it's not a book for them, although I think some of them pick them for themselves. The charge of the book table is to go out and become a champion of literacy just like we do every day and give a book to someone, a child or an adult, and encourage them to read. Well, I love the fact that not only are you doing this here, you're doing this all over the city. For those of you who don't know the full mission of the Gary Literacy Coalition, it is plain and simple to make Gary a reading city. Yes. And so you have been in the schools, you are in the community. If someone wants to donate to this amazing cause tonight or in the future, what do they need to do? Well, simply all they can do is, one, they can drop a mail, uh, check in our mail to 650 Grand Street, Suite 8, Gary, Indiana, 46404. You can also go on our website to GaryLiteracyCoalition.org and hit the donate button. And that's as simple as that. Or give me a call at 219-885-2229 and we will figure out a way how you can contribute to our mission. All right. And what about volunteers? You always need readers. Yeah. What does that entail? Simply again, reach out to me. Uh, call the office Area code 219-885-2229. There are several ways in which you can help. I'm always looking for volunteer readers that go out into the schools and into the communities and the daycare to read to small children. But I also need people to help man tables at community fairs. I'm only one person and I can't be everywhere. You can. I can. Oh, okay. <laughs> I try. People think I can. <laughs> So I'm always looking for someone who can do that. And then there's a lot of work behind the scenes. Every book that comes in our office has to be accounted for, has to be categorized so we know who it goes to, where it needs to go, and people know that it comes from us. And so I'm always looking for people in the office to help keep those things organized so when the call comes in for other organizations to want to uh, be a champion of literacy, and need books, I have someone in the office that can help process those orders. Well, you all heard the cry. You can donate. You can volunteer. Go on over to GaryLiteracyCoalition.org. Google Gary Literacy Coalition. I know you got to go, but I want to say in advance, congratulations on all the amazing things that are going to happen tonight and all the dollars you're going to raise. All right. All in the name to make Gary a what? Reading City. Good job. All right. Thank you, Lori. Thank you. That's our fearless leader, Lori Kirkendall, Executive Director. Come on over here, Dr. Karen. There's so many influential individuals in the room, you being among them oh, and being saying? a champion of literacy. What does tonight mean to you and this organization? Well, listen, reading is fundamental. I'm so proud and honored to be a part. This is actually the first uh, event that I've attended a for newbie. the Gary Literacy. Yes, okay. yes, 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 yes. But, you know, Edgewater Health has uh, partnered with Gary Literacy Coalition in the Jump Start program. In fact, we just read to kindergartners and first graders a couple of weeks ago nice. at Beverage Elementary. So it's just wonderful to see all of the support and to see that people really are um, behind making sure that literacy is number one. What are you reading now? You, you reading a book now? You know what? I am always reading something. I uh, I'm not reading a book right now, but uh -huh. I'm actually reading um, some articles on uh, crisis okay. care because that's where we're really... Edgewater. The, it's Edgewater, so okay. that's where we are. Um, but I want to share something with you about tonight. So I'm working very closely with Dr. Simpson. He's our champion for the My Brother's Keeper Alliance. Yes, and 
one of the visionaries for this organization. Absolutely. Uh -huh. And uh, under his leadership, he is actually steering us towards interventions for pre-K. So making sure uh, that all children are ready and prepared to enter school. Mm -hmm. um, and also milestone three, which is making sure that folks are reading at grade level by third grade. Because we know that's it. so important, Chelsea. Critical. You, If you're not reading at grade level by third grade, you need reading to understand all the other subjects. It's fundamental, like that's you said. Thank you so much. Listen. Thank you, Edgewater, Thank for you. always Thank being always. a part of the mix to make a difference positive that is in Gary community. It. All right. Enjoy okay. your first time. Magic, magic. All right. And here comes the mayor, the mayor of the city of Gary, who's committed to making this a reading city. We may have to pan up because the mayor is so tall. We're going to adjust the pride pride. We go up with it. We're good. Mayor Eddie Melton, thank you so much for stopping by to just give you your kudos, congratulations, and sentiments about the Gary Literacy Coalition. Absolutely. Gary Literacy Coalition is one of those pillars in the community that's been around for a number of years providing quality service, programming, books for the youth, and uh, just encourage every year to see them uh, come back around and have events like this for us to support them. What is one of your favorite books? You know, I'm a John Maxwell reader, right? So um, Developing the Leader Within, that's one of my favorite books right there. Okay. Uh, then my friend May May Ali, Miriam yeah. Ali, she has the uh, book on her father, Muhammad Ali. So. You know what? We need to get them some copies. Of yes, that. that's a, that, now that you think about <laughs> yeah, it, right? I'm like, man, we need to get her a copy and probably bring her back to do a lot of book signing and stuff like that. So. Well, now that we have it captured on film here, we're going right. to make it happen. <laughs> Mayor, thank you for stopping thank by. You, and we are working care. to keep making Gary a reading city. That's it. All, All right. right. Take care. All right. Before we wrap up, come on over here, Reverend Robinson. You're an avid reader because you have to have the text ready for your messages. Come talk to me a little bit about Gary Literacy Coalition and the importance of making Gary a reading city. Uh, Gary Literacy Coalition really is one of the best kept secrets, if you will, uh, of Gary. Um, just promoting literacy, which is one of the uh, most precious gifts we could ever possess, you know, because it helps us to navigate and move from place to place, level to level. And so it, the, the work of the Literacy Coalition really needs to be commended mm -hmm. um, for investing not just in the youth, but in all those who have a love for literacy, you know, and even a need to grow uh, literally. Yes. Well, tonight is special in that we're honoring some folks. We're raising dollars. For that person who's watching is on the fence, what would you say? You know, you're good at collecting money, right? <laughs> what would you say to he or she to get them to donate to this cause? Listen, uh, literacy is what frees us, mm. you know, and, and to invest in, in, in an organization such as the Gary Literacy Coalition to promote literacy within our whole community is what will ensure that we will continue to live a, a free and emancipated life, regardless as to what may be going on around us. Pastor Robinson well said. Thank you so much for Thank being you, here and for Thanks always for supporting these great causes My in our pleasure. community. Thank Enjoy you, tonight. You. All right. We're going to go ahead and wrap up. I just wanted to give you a little precursor of what's going on. We have a packed house. We're at the Chateau in Merrillville, Indiana. Congratulations to all of the board members, to Lori, and all of the volunteers who have come together to ensure the success of tonight's fundraiser. The theme is this, the Night of Magic. So when I first got in here, I saw some magicians going from table to table, doing a few card tricks. But we need to be very serious. No tricks about reading. We want to make Gary a reading city and the Gary Literacy Coalition has served as a gateway to help us to do this. If you're interested in giving, please head over to the website GaryLiteracyCoalition.org. That's GaryLiteracyCoalition.org. I'm Chelsea Whittington on behalf of CWIT PR and the Gary Literacy Coalition. We thank you for tuning in. Please share this video and we thank you in advance for your support. We'll be back with the program momentarily.